I'd be up that guy's yin yang so far with a firecracker, he wouldn't know what hit him. Whether you love him or hate him, Ontario's Premier Doug Ford has probably come across your feed for more than just his governing decisions. We've highlighted some of the more memorable Ford moments from 2021. Starting with number eight back in March, with hair salons closed, the Premier expressed his sympathy for residents eager to get their hair cut. Look at me, I, you know, something I, I'd go to the dog clippers right now and pull up and get my hair clipped because you know, I literally in the morning it looks like that. So I got more gel on here than you can shake a stick at. So it was only natural that when Ford was spotted sporting a new hairdo, it prompted the question how exactly that came to be. I, I look like a sheepdog and and uh, so we literally got some dog clippers and I got it on video to prove it. Or I know you guys are going to want to see it, but my daughter that lives at homes, never cut anyone's hair in their life. I just sat in the chair and said, honey, go to town. We couldn't even figure out how to work these clippers. And I grabbed them and zinged half my head. So it's half bald on one side. Taking matters into his own hands is clearly part of the premier's MO. At a press conference in July, Ford was adamant that the return of in-person classes would happen. In September, they're going to be in class. I want to repeat that. They're going back. Even if I have to hop in that uh, school bus and drive it myself, the kids are going to be going back uh, to school. But of course, Ford can't do everything himself and definitely showed his appreciation when the United States offered to share vaccines with Canada. Oh, God bless America. They're coming to our rescue. Thank God. I've been bugging Trump. I've been bugging Biden, all of them. They must get sick of Doug Ford asking for help. But there's another side to the premier and and we saw that when vaccine shipments to Canada were being cut. So Ford shared his thoughts on what he would do if he were in Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's shoes. And nothing is more important than, than getting these vaccines. And if I was in his shoes, I'm sure he is doing it, but I'd be on that phone call every single day. I'd be up that guy's yin yang so far with a firecracker, he wouldn't know what hit him from Pfizer. The colorful metaphors kept on coming as was the case in January with big box stores. And I, I want to talk again for a second about big box stores. I'm going to come down on them like an 800 pound gorilla. If they aren't, if they aren't following the protocols, they aren't following the guidelines. If they don't have 50% uh, only in, in the stores, uh, there's going to be consequences for them. But if you were in his good books, you might even get a ringing endorsement. Oh yeah, I got to give Timmy's a good plug. The best thing you guys ever did is make those real egg sandwiches. I used to go eat those other ones. They're the best, those, those real egg sandwiches. So whoever did that at Timmy's, good for you. And finally, there's the seemingly random story of a kid named Arthur that went on to become Ontario's favorite meme. I just want to tell one last story before we, we finish. So I, I get a letter dropped off at my house. So I get a lot of letters dropped off my uh, my house and I read it and it's from a, a young gentleman named Arthur. Hop in my pickup, I drove over to the house, his little guy comes out and uh, I said, are you Arthur? And he said, no, I'm I'm Marcus. So I, I met Arthur. Arthur, this is a situation. I'm gonna bring it to cabin. I was very upfront with him. He was a tough negotiator, by the way. I gotta get him into some of the negotiations. At the end, uh, he said, I'd be happy if we had a graduation day and then he gets to go to camp and he has a great summer. I'm Lance McMillan for Narcity and be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more.